All right, guys, uh, so this is also shot at the same day, uh, but uh, in this episode, we are going to show you an easy way to improve, uh, you know, like your whole 360 game. And as promised, uh, we will be showing you a setup, right? So your first step is to go to your settings and change your ISO. So your ISO can be bumped up to maybe 3200, but 3200 means that you're getting a lot of grains on this. So let's stop this one. And then uh, shutter speed, you'll be keeping as low as possible. Spread because we are shooting one by 60. Okay. So that's it, your sh shutter speed. So if you guys didn't see, your shutter speed is one by 100, okay? So that's one by 100 for your shutter speed. So even in this sort of shutter speed, you're still going to notice that there is a lot of grains on this and uh, there is no way you can eliminate any sort of grains and uh, there will be background noise. So you cannot eliminate grains at all, um, even in like whatever manual settings you do. So that was your step one that you could have done from the camera. Now we'll do some software and some other tricks, okay? So what's this clip? You like, I'll be shooting in a linear format. You will still get grains in your footage no matter what you try to do. Uh, that is this uh, whole video is all about. And uh, we are going to show you, not by using like an Insta360 or anything, just by using a regular 360 camera. So this trick works on uh, Insta360 and regular cameras. Uh, you can actually eliminate that sort of grain. Now, there are two ways of uh, this. There's two ways you can do this. Number one method is to add in some fill-in lights. So that's what we are go going to do. That will eliminate 50% of the grains on your face or on the subject that you're trying to put upon. And the rest 50% can be eliminated by using a non-linear software. So let's go back home and uh, I'm gonna show you how this works. To begin with, there are some supplies that you need to buy. You guys do need to buy this L bracket. Uh, if you are picking up something, maybe make sure this is the one. A small extension, this is very, very uh, Then you can use something like this. Uh, this is like a mini kind of a tripod that we use. So I was having all of these lying around and that is the reason, you know, like I thought that I would just make something out of it. And also um, I would recommend you a small light like this. Uh, usually these lights are sold by Litra and I will post you down in a link below how to use Litra lights like this and improve the footage. Now watch this setup and then we will jump over to the step. You know, like uh, all 360 cameras, they have a stitch line. So if this matches with the length width of this, you're good. And as closer as it is to this setup, you will be uh, actually safe to, you know, not get any sort of glitch or anything. So at first we're going to put uh, the 360 camera right out here because in that way our hands will be closer. So let's attach the 360 camera. I'm using the Rilo stick because in at the, at the below of the Rilo will be the Litra light. So hold on a second. All you do is connect this. Uh, the other part of this, uh, you can buy this also separately. This is a small kind of a thread mount and you can attach that. I'll post a link uh, down below how you can use this. And then uh, what you're going to do is that you're going to attach the, the literal light out here. So same way, you're going to screw in the literal light. So now uh, you will see at the bottom, there is another uh, mount out here. So what you're going to do is that you're going to take this and then you're going to connect. And then you're going to connect this like this. Okay, now once this is connected, you will get a setup like this. You can leave this if you want out here and you do not need any sort of stuff because you can actually literally vlog or you can actually post your stuff like this without even doing anything. But might as well put a tripod onto it at the bottom so you can use something like this if you want because this allows you to give you an, an extension like this so you get an extension like this so that is the reason i mean like i'm using this because i'll be using more with an extension and uh, that's your setup let's quickly jump outside and uh, do some shots at night or evening 
just some test shots. I live around in a very busy locality. So I'll be walking around the streets and you're going to notice the difference without this and without the, with the light. Um, let's jump in. Alrighty guys, so today in the morning we were talking about, uh, you know, like making a 360 kind of a thing. So this is the whole setup. You get a 360 kind of a camera and then you can put some lights on the side. Now watching this stitch, you will not notice the light because the light that we are using is Litra. The thing with Litra is that it's a squishy kind of a light and you can access the temperature. It gets super freaking bright. Now watch how bright it gets. It can actually, I turned it off, so hold on a second. So you can go from 5, 10, and you can increase this to all the way to max brightness. Now this is super bright uh, in even situations when you are traveling and everything. The rig that I'm showing you is a very, very minimalistic kind of a rig. So the thing is that you can actually, you know, like uh, put it, uh, carry in your backpack and stuff like that. You can increase the brightness to 10% and in 10% brightness, as you can see, even when I do a tiny planet right now, that I am well lit while my surroundings are not well lit. So it keeps the subject in focus. And that is the reason I believe doing a lot of 360 and 360 vlogs because it gives you multiple angles to shoot your videos with. So you can use this with your Rilo, you can use with your GoPro Hero Max, but the setup that I'm using is a Rilo. Insta360 ONE R probably is one of the best cameras right there. You can use this with your Insta360. Watch how the footage is, even though it's edited, there is so much of grains in this place, right? And you, there is no way this footage can be published or you cannot use this footage at all. So there has to be another way that we can utilize this footage. So that is the reason you guys need to purchase DaVinci Resolve to edit a footage like this and get this uh, noise. So there is color noise and light noise, which we call as Luma and Chroma. So all of these noises are out there and you have to eliminate that. Um, I hope you guys have, uh, you know, like a kind of uh, non-linear editor, because if you are, do not have a non-linear editor, this is where your endeavor ends. And uh, let me go and take you to a uh, non-linear editor right now. So I'll be using DaVinci Resolve for this. So let's open DaVinci. Let's close this one. We are going to show you uh, how is this going to change. So as you can see right now, when I play this, there is a lot of grains and everything, right? So what you do is that you go to color and I'm just going to make a small clip out of it. I do not want to make a whole clip. It's going to take a lot of time to render. So I'm just going to render a small clip out of it or I can render a full clip out of it. So let's render a full clip. And then we can go out here and uh, we can go to camera quality in motion effects. In motion effects, select three frames or you can select two, but I selected three. And then you can go motion estimator as better, motion range as medium. In Luma, you can change this. This is something that you have to play around with. In five, it doesn't disappear. So use 10. Um, I would probably use 15, to be very frank. 15 is too high, but yeah, but 15, it looks pretty good. And in spatial threshold, just change it to 14 or 15. Um, you can do enhanced if you want, and radius is medium, okay? Just that, and there is no need of color tweaking or anything, okay? So in Deliver, just go out here, go to YouTube or any other format you want. I just put it in like a 1080p format. Uh, H.265 is the quality that you guys are looking at. And then add to render, select, save the movie on top, and then start rendering. Now I've already rendered this for you guys, so let me exit. So now watch how everything has changed um, in this uh, video that you are seeing right now. Um, everything is clean, there is very less noise. And in that way, what happened, I maintained the colors. The colors are not, you know, like fading away here and there. Um, there is no, you know, like, Distortion. There is distortion because of the 360 thing, but there is no problem with grains or anything. So this is one way. The other way that you can, we will do is that we will again shoot uh, some night footage and we'll try to change night footage. This is actually a very low light situation. And I think this is the best way to improve, uh, you know, your 360 videos rather than directly importing them to DaVinci Resolve. 
Howdy guys, I hope you guys learned something today and how to use 360 videos uh, in your daily life. How to use 360 videos and edit them properly so that you guys do not get any sort of grains. Yes, it's a time streaking process, but amount of shots that you get from a 360 camera, it's that is the thing I always love the 360 cameras because now these 360 cameras, like the Insta360 ONE R that you saw in the previous episode, has amazing quality of audio and audio was very tricky. Light, we will decide that later on because not a lot of time we are shooting in a very low light situation. But if you're shooting indoors, I think this trick will help you out in a non-linear editor. And uh, if you're shooting outside and you are doing this for YouTube or professionally, I think this rig is going to help you out because you do require a little bit of light um, that uh, is actually going to do a fill-in job and is going to keep you in focus compared to your background and hence comes uh, this rig because if you make a rig like this you will see that nothing comes inside in that uh, you know the 360 stitch and as if you are vlogging with an invisible light so uh, yeah so if you like this presentation if you like this trick do give me a thumbs up consider subscribing because we do a lot of uh, tips and tricks occasionally but uh, most of the time we also show different products and different tech a new uh, chapter has opened in this channel uh, since we changed the channel from Opinions Matter to Techadu. Honest Opinions is still there, but uh, in this channel now we will cover technology that will progress mankind's uh, future. So which means we are going to cover space, we are going to cover technology that NASA is developing and will enable or propel us to the future. So stay tuned. See you guys on another episode. <laughs> Goodbye.